day, everyone. Welcome back sa ating Math 21 tutorial video series. And in this video, we're going to review on the concepts of the epsilon delta definition of the limit as well as continuity. So recall lang natin yung informal definition of limit. So suppose we have a function f of x. If we let this function become arbitrarily close to a single number, uh, sabi natin L, as x approaches a constant, which is c, from either side, then the limit of f of x as x approaches c is L, which we write as this equation written below. But then again, wala pa tayong precise definition, no? Para sa phrases na f of x becomes arbitrarily close to L and x approaches c. So dito na papasok yung formal definition ng limit or yung tinatawag nating epsilon delta definition. So let epsilon be a small positive real number. Yung part na nagsasabi na f of x becomes arbitrarily close to L indicates that f of x lies in the open interval L minus epsilon, comma L plus epsilon. Okay, so sulat natin siya in absolute value notation. Ganito siya. So we have the absolute value of f of x minus L is less than epsilon. Likewise, yung phrase naman na x approaches c indicates that there is a positive real number na tatawagin natin delta such that x lies in either the open interval c minus delta comma c or open interval c comma c plus delta. In absolute value notation, pwede natin siyang sulat as this one. No? The absolute value of x minus c is greater than zero but less than delta. At this point, ready na tayong i-define yung limit formally, no? So, let f be a function defined on an open interval containing c, except possibly at c, and let l be a real number. The statement, the limit of f of x as x approaches c equals l, is equivalent to saying that for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta greater than zero, such that if the absolute value of x minus c is greater than zero but less than delta, then the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. Review naman natin yung concept of continuity. So, masasabi natin yung, na yung isang particular function na f is said to be continuous at c if the following three conditions are satisfied. Una, dapat define si f of c. Pangalawa, dapat nag exist yung limit ng f of x as x approaches c. And pangatlo, dapat equal si limit ng f of x as x approaches c at si f of c. May isa lang dyan na hindi masatisfy, automatic, f is discontinuous at c. For continuity on an open interval, a function f is said to be continuous on an open interval a comma b if it is continuous at each point in that interval. So pag continuous siya on the entire real line, the function is said to be continuous everywhere. For continuity naman on a closed interval, a function f is said to be continuous on the closed interval a comma b if it is continuous on the open interval a comma b and the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right is equal to f of a and the limit of f of x as x approaches b from the left is equal to f of b. Recall din natin no, yung concepts ng removable and essential discontinuity. So kanina nabanggit natin na kapag hindi na satisfy yung isa sa tatlong condition na binanggit ko sa previous slide, automatic si f of x ay discontinuous at that point. So suppose that f of x is discontinuous at a point x equals a. So, kung nag exist yung limit ng function na yun as x approaches a, pero either undefined si f of a or hindi equal si f of a at yung limit ng function as x approaches a, then we say that f has a removable discontinuity at x equals a. Meanwhile, kung yung limit naman ng f of x as x approaches a does not exist or dnt, then we say that f has an essential discontinuity at x equals a. May dalawang klase ng, dis ng essential discontinuity, no? kung maalala ninyo. So, kung yung limit ng function as x approaches a from the right and a from the left both exist, pero hindi sila equal, merong jump essential discontinuity yung function na yun at x equals a. Meanwhile, kung yung limit naman nun, ng function na yun as x approaches a from the left or a from the right is equal to either positive infinity or negative infinity, masasabi natin yung function na yon ay may infinite essential discontinuity at x equals a. Okay, so hindi naman kompleto yung ating uh, review without the problem-solving portion. So we have prepared two problems for you. 
And the first problem is on the epsilon delta definition of a limit. So, po prove natin yung, yung function na to or yung equation na to using the formal definition. So, let's start no, by finding a suitable value for our delta. We want to show that uh, the absolute value of quantity 2x minus 1 minus 3 is less than epsilon. Whenever the absolute value of x minus 2 is greater than 0 but less than delta. So, maalala nyo nun, itong part na to, this is f of x. Yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Tapos yung 3 is our ano, limit. So, very familiar yung comma niyan sa inyo. So, we have this one. No? Kinopya lang natin to. Tapos, next step, simplify natin yung nasa loob ng absolute value. So, we get here 2x minus 4. And we can express this side of the inequality as the product of 2 and the absolute value of x minus 2. So, divide natin tong both sides by 2. Ayan. So, cancel out yung 2 dito. So, we are left with the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than epsilon over 2. So, this implies that meron na tayong suitable value for our delta, which is 1 half epsilon. We then proceed with the formal proof as follows. So let epsilon be greater than 0 and take delta, which is equal to 1 half epsilon, which is also greater than 0. So that whenever we have the absolute value of x minus 2 greater than 0 but less than delta, so yeah, this is yung f of x minus l. So, we simplify yung nasa loob. Tapos, we express this as the product of 2 and the absolute value of x minus 2. So, kung maalala nyo, di ba, ito, itong part na to, yung may absolute value, uh, pwede natin isubstitute yung epsilon over 2 dito, no? So, magiging, ano na siya, magiging inequality na siya. So, this part is less than this part. So, we have here 2 times epsilon over 2. Siyempre, magka-cancel out yung 2. So, we are left with epsilon. So, at this point, meron na tayo na ito, then it's less than epsilon. So, therefore, by definition, we have shown that the limit of quantity 2x minus 1 as x approaches 2 equals 3. Problem solved! Next naman na problem natin is on uh, continuity. So, consider the piecewise defined function. Haba na ito, hindi ko na ito babasahin isa-isa. So, ang goal natin dito is to, 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 is to determine if the function is continuous or discontinuous at the following x values. x equals negative 2, x equals 0, and x equals 2. Kapag discontinuous siya, classify natin yung type of discontinuity as removable, jump essential, or infinite essential. So, start tayo sa x equals negative 2. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, Yung denominator, this can be expressed as ano, um, a product of two binomials. So we have here x plus 2 as a, a factor and x minus 1. So, dito pa lang, no? by observing pa lang yung ating mga factors sa denominator, we can see that magsi-zero siya kapag yung x natin ay equal sa negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung f natin is undefined at x equals negative 2. Taking one side at limits, we have this one. So, yung limit ng function as x approaches negative 2 from the left. So, we copy this one. Saan siya nang galing? Yun, dito. Yung, ta yung pinakataas. So, ayan. Um, paano siya naging, ano? Paano siya naging negative? So, we take, for example, a value na less than negative 2. So, let's say negative 3. Then, add natin sa 2, we get negative 1. So, of course, yung absolute value nung negative 1 is 1, no? So, ibig sabihin nito, if we get a value that is less than uh, that is less than negative 2, kung negative yung value na nasa loob nito. So, ibig sabihin, we need, we need to negate this whenever... Um, Kung yung negative yung nasa loob. So, kaya siya nagkaroon ng negative dito sa labas. So, since meron na tayong x plus 2 in both the numer numerator and denominator, we can cancel this out. So, we are left with negative 1 over quantity x minus 1. 
So at this point, we can evaluate na, no? We can plug in x equals negative 2. So, ayan. Uh, by simplifying this, we get 1 third. So, yung limit ng function as x approaches negative 2 from the left is 1 third. Proceed naman tayo sa limit from, ano no? Sa limit from the right. So, kinopya lang din natin to. So, ayan. So, bakit siya nag-positive? Same procedure lang. Um, let's say, we have negative 1. Tapos, add natin yung 2. So, we get, get here 1. So, yung Absolute value ng 1 is 1. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, for every value na kukunin natin for x, which is greater than negative 2, magpa-positive yung nasa loob. So, kaya siya ano, kaya positive to. So, dahil mayroon din tayong x plus 2 and x plus 2 sa ano, numerator and denominator, we cancel this out. So, we are left with 1 over quantity x minus 1. Pwede na natin i-plug in yung value na x equals negative 2. So, by simplifying this, we get negative 1 third. So, Kung, ma kung maalala ninyo, no, yung limit from the left ay one-third, yung limit from the right ay negative one-third. So dahil undefined, undefined si f of x at negative 2, tapos hindi pa equal yung limits nila, no, masasabi natin na yung function ay may jump essential discontinuity at x equals negative 2. So negative 2 dapat, dito dapat zero. Ayan. Ayan. So sana klaro tong part na to sa inyo, no? So, proceed tayo sa x equals 0. So, kung maalala ninyo, uh, f of 0 is equal to negative 1. Saan siya nang galing? Ayan, dito. So, we substitute 0 here. So, we get 0 over 5. So, 0 minus 1, negative 1. And yung floor ng negative 1 is negative 1. Anyway, balik tayo dito. No? Test naman natin yung continuity kasi alam na natin define yung, ano, yung f of 0. So, ayan, yung limit ng ano, yung limit ng function as x approaches 0 from the left, ito siya. So, pwede, di, na, di naman siya mag, ano, di naman mag zero yung denominator natin. So, we can plug in now the value, which is 0, dun sa ating x. So, by simplifying this, we get negative 1. So, yung limit ng function as x approaches 0 from the left is equal to negative 1. Meanwhile, pag from the right naman, kinuha natin yung sa floor function. Or sa floor, ayon. So we can substitute 0 here. So 0 over 5 minus 1, we get negative 1. And the floor of negative 1 is negative 1. So kung mapapansin niyo, define si f of 0, tapos equal yung limits, tapos yung limit then ay equal sa f of 0. Ibig sabihin lang neto, Function is continuous at x equals 0. Ayan. Note that f of 2 is equal to negative 1. So you can ano, you can verify this by your own. So testing for continuity, check natin yung limits. So yung limit ng function as x approaches 2 from the left is equal to this one. So dapat wala na yung ano dito. Wala na tong f of x. Ayan. So so we call, ano, we plug in 2 sa ating x. So we have your 2 fifth minus 1. Baka siya naging negative 1. Ayan. Para lang hindi kayo malito. So this is equal to the floor of, of negative 3 fifths. Ayan. Okay, check naman natin yung 2 from the right. No? Yung limit as x approaches 2 from the right. So we copy this one. Then we evaluate. So, we plug in 2 dun sa ating x. Then, we get here uh, negative secant of 0. So, kung maalala ninyo, no, yung cosine ng 0 is 1. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung reciprocal ng cosine ng 0, which is secant, is also 1. So, negative secant 0 is negative 1. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, define si f of 2 equal yung left side and right side limits. Tapos, yung limit ay equal din dun sa... Uh, f of 2. So, ibig sabihin lang nun, the function is continuous at x equals 2. So, sana uh, nag-gets ninyo kung paano natin sinolve lahat ng ito. So, see you in the next videos.